So the last and final piece of this intake form puzzle um, is actually um, adding the intake form to your confirmation or adding a reminder um, and a link to fill it out in the uh, confirmation emails. It's sort of in there a few ways and they do see it, your patients will see it when they're initially booking, um, but as you know, I like things really, really clear and foolproof. So. Um, we're going to want to add a link and a specific line um, reminding people to complete the forms. So in Acuity, you'll go down to Email Settings, and again, you see these all at the top. Um, and you know, from the last video, we've created um, oops, we've created uh, and a really detailed confirmation email, and so we'll just slide in. Um, one extra line and link so that you can um, have your patients complete the intake. So it's going to be in the initial confirmation. You're going to want to go down to your initial consult template. And so this is what we created before. And so I like it to, you know, once it says thank you, your appointment has successfully been scheduled, I like to put it here, just a line saying, oops, Please complete the, you know, initial oops, patient intake and health history form prior to your arrival. Click the link below. Something like that. And then we're just going to add a button to edit forms. So you can keep it as saying edit forms. I personally, again, like to get a little bit more clear. So it's better like that. So what you do, if you ever want to change the name of any of these buttons, because you've also got these buttons down here, um, you just click and you go to edit and you can change the text. So complete intake form here, whatever you want it to say. I like to open it into a new tab edit and then we'll just save this template and so now once um, they book they receive this initial confirmation they'll have it really clearly stated what they should be doing where they can do it and once they click on I mean it's really really easy for them to click complete that form um, so I do suggest for the reminders doing the exact same thing for your initial confirmation reminders or sorry Oh, gosh, I'm getting all mixed up with my R's. Any rescheduling confirmations, you'll want it to look exactly like your initial confirmation. Um, but also, if you do want it in the reminders, you know you can make a little note saying, if you have, you know, if have, you have not done so already, please complete the forms prior to your arrival. And again, with a button, it's completely up to you. So once you get this done, uh, your intake form is amazing and it is automatic and you will be streamlining your patients and your process a huge, huge amount. It's so, so exciting for you.